I'm just showing you feeding my red rump, just a young one. Um, just showing you that uh, I often use maggots as part of the diet. I'm a fan of maggots because they're cheap. They put weight on them quickly. Uh, I just bobbed down to the fishing shop and I just asked for a pound's worth in money. And I get a tub full like that. Uh, they start pupating after three days, uh, even when I've tried to keep them cooler. Um, and then they'll change into flies after five days, but then they get used for other things, prey mantises and things. Um, if the spiderlings are too small, or scorplings, uh, prey mantis nymphs, I will pre-kill them because maggots do have powerful mouth parts and can actually kill your spiderling. Um, as you can see, this one loves them. It's actually gathered about three in her mouth. Um, I find a lot of spiderlings will eat pre-kill maggots. You just squash them a little bit and then you, you give them freshly killed so they may be moving a little bit. Um, these spiders that build prolific webs, um, they always readily take them. So they find them in the hanging in the web. So you should even took a fourth one there. And the only thing with them is uh, they do bury down into the substrate, but I find that the tarantulas find them. And if they don't, they pupate, hatch out as flies, then just open the tank and let the fly escape. So I don't solely use them as a food. It's just that I sometimes use them along with crickets or whatever else I've got. Uh, for the scorpions as well, um, I had a scorpion uh, have about 30 odd babies and when they all left the mother's back um, I put them all in one tank and just dotted freshly killed maggots around and they all did well feeding on those. And just leave her to eat.